the resting potential results in part from potassium flow through leak channels that are always open and allow potassium just to flow out of the cell. So potassium is at higher concentration in the cell than out. Wouldn't you expect that the potassium would simply flow out of the cell until the concentration of potassium in and out of the cell is equal? In other words, until the equilibrium is reached. That doesn't happen. So yes, potassium is higher inside the cell than out. And potassium does leak through these leak channels. But they only do so until an electrochemical gradient prevents further potassium leakage. How does that happen? The negative charge inside the cell, the negative ions, are mostly organic ions. And these are mostly organic acids, which have, say, carboxyl groups, which dissociate to COO minus. Or phosphates, which at the pH in a cell, which is around 7, also exist as negatively charged ionic groups on molecules. So those organic anions are the source of most of the negative charge in a cell. And if the positive charges were to leak, eventually you'd get an electrochemical gradient, wouldn't you? The, the cell would, in fact, become electronegative relative to the outside. And then the potassium ions, which are positively charged, would slow down. They wouldn't leak as fast. And eventually, they would stop leaking altogether. So the potassium leakage stops when the cytoplasm cannot be made more electronegative. That is, there is a restraint on the leakage of the potassium. And that is largely what establishes the resting potential. It is established by the balance between the tendency of potassium at high concentration to leak out of the cell through these leak channels, and the tendency of a growing negatively charged interior of the cell to require positively charged ions to neutralize them.